Look. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, sir. Okay. Oh, oh. She's in this video again. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Croatoan, the next episode in Supernatural Season 2 Reviews. This is episode 9, and this is a mid-season finale for Season 2, and I'm actually quite surprised that this is as good of an episode as it is. I like Croatoan because they even make a reference to Chuck Heston and the Omega Man, which is a film that's based off I Am Legend, which is a fantastic novel. If you've ever read it, incredibly depressing, but a great novel. Sam and Dean come into this town that has a Croatoan name on it. People in the town start to go crazy. There's this sort of virus idea that's happening. They have to try and save themselves in these few people in this building and they can't trust anyone. This infection just seems to make people rampant. Admittedly, the budget does show. Like, there's not as much in the episode as you would think considering its content. They spend time making all of these firebombs but they never use them. But the episode still plays out very, very well. It's well written because it's written by John Saban who um, used to be a writer for X-Files, he wrote episodes for Breaking Bad and whatnot. This episode was also directed by Robert Singer. This shows when this dude could actually care, when he actually didn't do the laziest means of a job. He actually did his job well. Oh, hero. Either way, I enjoyed this episode immensely. The acting done by Jensen and Jared is actually pretty good. There's one point where Sam kind of gives this <laughs> kind of face. It's a little silly, but either way, I actually thought it was still pretty good. There's a lot of good surprises in this episode that don't seem predictable, that they actually kind of come out of left field, but in a good way, that they're, there's some well-written tension in this entire episode. I've seen where the brothers are talking with each other about whether or not they're gonna have to kill Sam. Admittedly, me at the time was like, oh my God, are they actually gonna have to do it? And then how it ends with Dean about to reveal what their dad said to them. That's a perfect cliffhanger. Either way, I enjoy this episode immensely. It is one of the best episodes of this season and there are a lot of them and I'm going to give it I can't believe this. I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 7. That's two 7 out of 7s back to back in this season. I'm remembering now that this middle point was just so dang good. Like the middle of this season is just phenomenal. So I'm I'm really excited to keep on going. I asked for your guys' comments about Croatone in the last review. So let's see what you guys have to say. All right, so going through our comments here, we got one again from Karen C. Croto in mid-season finale and love it. I enjoy a good bro story and here the boys are at odds with one another over how to handle the situation with Sam's words ultimately acting as Dean's conscience and causing him not to execute the guy tied to the chair. Then Dean, ready to die with Sam, admitting he is sick of the weight on his shoulders. Of course, we really don't understand the full weight until he f reveals that in the mid-season premiere. The ending has two big whammies with Dean admitting that he had a secret about Sam and the surprise about the demon's test Sam's immunity. Good mid-season finale as the wait for us was agony. And then we got another one here from Robotic Donkey 3. Croatoan is one of, if not my favorite, mid-season finales. The Croatoan virus was greatly used and showed us just how bad it was going to be, especially when it returned in season 5. Then we got one last here from Sarah Zen Texas. Croatoan is as important to the lore as the previous episode, in my opinion. It's establishing that demons have experimented on small isolated towns and were successful at turning all the inhabitants into zombie-style creatures reverbs all the way to season 7. Why was Sam immune? And then and there's that tease at the end. What did John tell Dean about Sam before he died? Seven out of seven for me. And yeah, you guys are right. Everyone who says seven out of seven who thought that was going to be for this episode, you were definitely correct. Anyways, thanks to God. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for your comments. Next episode is Hunted. This is when we start to see more of the children that are like Sam. I'm actually excited to watch this one too because we're just on such a really, really good pace right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, can't wait to review the next episode. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.